Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Roguelike Adventures and Dungeons. Um, so we're picking back up from where we left off last episode, and we are about to head into the maze. So let's just, uh, there's a minotaur right there, let's just dive on in, and we'll get going on this. <laughs> and uh, of course this is, whoa. <laughs> all right let me that little slime guy's running off so oh man well we set on slime balls for a bit because <laughs> they're dropping a ton of these i put uh oh oh man these pinch beetles are going to be terrible because they're going to carry me off like a ways before i can kill them i think all right. Arcane Creeper. There we go. I don't know where it went. <laughs> Did it teleport or something? The world may never know. Oh, it's an invisible minotaur. There we go. This does have looting on it, doesn't it? I feel like it does. Yeah, it's got looting three. Okay. Um, because it was dropping a ton of slime balls off those guys. Now, there has to be one of those Minotaur spawning rooms near where we dropped in at. Okay, this is a dead end. And I don't have any... I guess I'm going to use these blocks. And just kind of put that there saying like, okay, there's nothing, there's nothing down this way that we need. Alright. And let's go, oh yeah, here we go. I actually want one of these torch rooms. There we go. Alright. But anyways, we're looking for a way to go, a place to go down again. Because there's another layer to this. <clears throat> and we're also looking for treasure. I haven't found any yet, so. Go. <laughs> we'll just let him explode. It doesn't seem like it does any damage to us, so. That's alright. Okay, this is a Minotaur spawner room. Go. And I'm going to go ahead and break this other spawner. There's only one... Oh, yeah, that's a TNT, and then there's two chests. Okay, there's always only one spawner. I'm just losing my mind. Okay, and there was a there was that Ender Sapper one. I don't know where he went, but... All right, what do we got? Gunpowder, iron. And then steel leaf stuff, iron wood... TNT. We'll take all of that. And then over here we've got ironwood, steel leaf, ironwood, TNT, maze wafer. Alright, we'll take all of that as well. Okay, so I guess we'll head off in this direction. I'm not going to worry about that pinch beetle that was back there. Okay, and this takes us right back to here. Alright. And then down along through here, that's the way we came in at. So... I'm going to kill this guy. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and this is just one big dead end then. Okay. So I guess we'll have to come back the way we came and go back to where we entered the maze at, I guess. Because this all just kind of ended off right here. Okay, now we didn't go this way. Let me grab uh, that... We'll just put that there. That means don't go that way. And then, okay, that's a dead end. And this goes here. And what do we got? Um, okay, we do have a treasure chest. And I don't see a tripwire. Sometimes there's tripwires down in there. Go ahead and grab this stuff. Okay, now there is a tripwire on this one. 
Okay, we didn't trip it, so. But that means there's a bunch of TNT under there. So you can mine it if you want uh, TNT. Okay, that's a dead end. And then this takes us to... Okay, this is just a fountain. First I thought that was one of the, where we dropped down at, but it's not. Um, Spellbook Magic Missile. No thanks. Fire Beetle. I'm basically just looking for chests and the way down. <laughs> this is what I'm looking for. Okay, this is back to this room. There's a chest over here, though. I'll go grab that. There's a strange amount of maze slimes. Normally you don't find that many for some reason, then. Today we're finding a whole bunch of them. Now what's... This is just lava and a dead end. This looks like... Uh, okay, this is where we came in at. Alright, and then... Down this way. Let me check this side first. Treasure chest here. No tripwire. Because you got to be careful that, so that your items don't fall on the tripwire. Because if they do, then everything explodes. I'm just going to throw that away. I have no use for that. Uh, I saw you. <laughs> Somewhere in there, there's something. Okay. What do we got over here? Okay, this... I don't know if this is a dead end or... Not. Hey. Oh, come on. I feel like our stuff's leveling really good right now, though. <laughs> From what I could tell, I keep seeing pop-ups about it, so... There we go. Thunderbolt, I don't want that. Because I have so many of those I need to sell. And I just don't really need the stuff from selling them. And I, d I definitely don't need the spells because we've got plenty of... Oh, we already have one of them. That's plenty. Alright. Another one. Um, there's a tripwire in this one. Go. We have a ton of slime balls, though. Like, more than we know what to do with for a while. Tripwire. Charm of Keeping. Not bad. There we go. I'll probably have to make some more torches here in just a second. That's fine. I've got coal, so... That's that one room. And don't forget, torch berries, you can make torches. You get five torches per... Torch berry and stick. So, surprised we haven't found that other. Uh, we're back to where we start. Okay. So actually, I think. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it came full circle or not. <laughs> Level fifteen on the sword slicer. So we are up to a ten point four attack damage, and we have a seventy nine point four percent damage reduction, which. I think with our armor and stuff, we just have a 100% damage reduction, so. Because <laughs> I, 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 it has to be close to it. Because I've noticed I can take a little bit of damage, but it's very, very minute amount. And it's so little that it just regenerates, like, right after, so. You get to go in the lava. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to warp back to the Mino entrance. Because I thought, let's see, we went in there, we came through there, we saw that. This is the direction we haven't been. That's not my torch, so. 
I think this is the direction where everything we need is at. Okay, where does this go? Because I feel like this is going to reach a dead end. Yeah, this just reaches water. I'm going to deal with this pinch beetle first. There we go. <laughs> He's going to get me. There's a minotaur right next to me or something. Okay, I guess I killed him. Alright. What do we got? It's paper and... Man, I'm not getting, like... I was looking for a maze map focus and still haven't found a single one. Oh, wait. There it is. Haha. -ha. Okay. I'm not going to I'm not gonna craft that until we get to the next layer, though, because there's not a whole lot of point in doing it in the first layer, I don't feel like, unless you just have so many of them, and you want to find it. Okay, there's the entrance down, so perfect. And there's the... <laughs> okay, this is the other spawner room. Let's go ahead and break that off and deal with this amazing army of minotaurs we've got going here. Okay, so in here we've got steel leaf stuff. And then in this one, we've got steel leaf, maze map focus, ironwood, gunpowder. Wonderful. Alright, so I'm going to deal with this fire beetle, and then we're going to head down to the next floor, I guess. Let's open this up, and let's head down, I suppose. And we'll go ahead and grab one of our maze map focuses, because um, I'm going to craft that up. As soon as we get down here. Alright, we'll go ahead and craft that. There we go. And then, um, let's see. Where's my... Uh, oh, we got a quest complete. We'll turn that in, in a second. I think it was this one that had my night vision spell. Maybe? Or, oh, wait. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah, dark vision. There we go. I'll just use that. Because I'm out of torches and it's not really a big deal. Okay, so we've got our maze map. We'll go ahead and activate that. And I guess, technically I could put it right here. It kind of bounces. It's hard to watch it whenever I'm moving. But uh, basically we're looking for mainly just the Mino Shroom room. And where the... Uh, the maze breaker is going to be located, which is going to be just a weird out of place big box um, with nothing inside of it. I mean, cave spiders right through here. Okay, we have ourselves a spawner room. I'm thinking we'll probably have enough XP built up soon. We can get another, like, combat damage boost or something, you know. Um, I don't want that. I insist on dropping that junk. I really don't need all this steel leaf stuff either, but I've been picking it up. And I don't know why. <laughs> okay. So I guess we'll head on in this direction. Sounds good. I'm basically just trying to chart as much of it, like move into as much uncharted territory, because that's going to let us find the boss room pretty easily. And the... Uh... I'm not worried about that Enderman. Oh. Actually, I think I see where it's going to be at. Let me take this stuff. Now, if I need to make more torches, I can. But right south of us. Well, we'll work our way over there. That's fine. Um, but that big block of, like, gray, that's where uh, the maze breaker's probably going to be. If I had to bet money, that would be where I bet. <laughs> where I bet money on it, so... Oh, well, got an angry Enderman now. That's fine. I really actually do need to kill him because, uh... 
he really can't do anything against me. And I need the Ender Pearls. Oh, and I'll take the Nebulous Heart. Wow, okay. Five Ender Pearls on him. go okay so we're about to start heading to the south and it looks like chances are the Mino Shroom himself is going to be in the south section there hey is this another another spawner room right here you guys die please <laughs> please there we go I'm not going to worry about the armor. I'm, I always, for some reason, when I go to the Twilight Forest, I tend to pick up all the armor. And I don't know why, because I never need it for much of anything. <laughs> Except, like, maybe one set for decoration. And that's about it, so. Alright. We'll take all of that. And we are going to head down into the south section. See if we can find the Mino Shroom and then head towards the Maze Breaker. That's kind of where I'm heading, so. And we'll just grab all the treasure chests along the way. I feel like this place is like really good for leveling up our equipment. Which I think my armor's okay for right now. I'm going to check it really good. Here in a second, I can always just repair it. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm actually gonna go ahead and repair my armor. Um just to be on the safe side. I don't know what I did with my bag. There it is. Okay. Now we are sorted. I'm actually going to keep this just on me, though. So that way we've got it available. Okay, and I'm basically just looking for the Mino Shroom. So I'm just going to cut through. Okay, no, that didn't lead anywhere. <laughs> um, I guess I'll actually cut to the north, maybe. And I think right up here, and I need to go around Mighty TF Minotaur. Yeah, actually right through this wall. We'll see. We'll go around because we'll come, we'll come to the us. And actually, I think it looks like right down here is where the Mino Shroom's going to be. They gotta get around all of this. Oh, and what level, uh, what level do I need for the next tier of 37 or 47? Uh, for the, the crit and melee damage stuff. Because I guess that's what I'm gonna focus on for right now, because... That's pretty much, seems like the best way to do combat on here. Because the, you know, the magic wasn't really buffed. So after a certain point, it's just like not that great. Except maybe like summon spells. Summon spells are probably still okay to use. Um, but I think for the most part, it feels like one big wall right here. Oh, you know what? I see where the Mino Shroom's at. We need to go north of our location. So let's go through here and take a right. And, yeah, I need to go through this wall. I'm just going to go through it. <laughs> we can dig through them. It just takes a while. Yeah, All right here is the Mino Shroom. And his room is filled with guys. I'm just going to take him on, like... Of course, I got a pinch beetle. There we go. 
We'll take him on the, like, semi-legit way. Normally, I just stand at the doors and just beat him to death. Because he will literally stand at the door and just let you beat him down. So, there we go. He is dead. And we should get a quest complete. There we go. Now I just gotta work through all of his minions here. I kinda like the fact his room spawned with guys. Normally it doesn't do that, so. Hey. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then his treasure chest, we've got mostly nothing. Which I accidentally threw in about that. Uh, Charm of Keeping, and a bunch of junk, Gunpowder, I'm taking the Fireflies just because they stack, Maze Map Focus, Gunpowder, okay, awesome, okay, so then what we need to do, we'll go out, I guess it don't really matter, we'll just go up this way, because the door's already open here, I guess I could give these guys slowness. That would actually be useful. <laughs> That's okay. What in the world? Whoa! This is a... Wow, he's got a lot of buffs. I have to kill him. I just can't see him. Yeah, my night vision's on. It's just I got blinded or something. Oh, and he's got one up, so he's about to... Oh, no, I thought he got all his HP back. Maybe not. Okay, so what do we get? Diamond hoe, I don't need that. We got uh, diamond boots with nimble and protection too. Not really all that great. I'm going to trash a bit of this stuff. Okay. So anyways, we are headed right here. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so we gotta break through all of this. And it's gonna take a minute to break through. Okay, I got through. You can see there's TNT right there. So we're going to take this nice and slow and just ease our way through all of this. So, TNT there. I think we're actually coming in on a corner. Yeah. Should be able to check these chests or start checking them. I need to get through all of that. I'll tell you what, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to break all the TNT that's connected to these pressure plates. Okay, that's, yeah, that's all four of those. So if anything does happen, these shouldn't explode. <laughs> I don't think so. I think, I'm pretty sure I got all that, yeah, that's all that TNT. This is kind of like doing surgery. If you remember in SevTech, it took me like three attempts because I just kept messing up and, I don't know, not really doing it right, doing it well, so. Okay, and then we should be able to open up the us. Okay, and now we can get up to the chest. So we've got a block of emerald, a steel leaf shovel, and then we've got an ender chest, fire protection four and protection two. And then we got Fire Aspect 2, Bane of Arthropods. Okay, so the last one, it does not have the Maze Breaker. There is no Maze Breaker in this one. Man, that means I'm going to have to do another maze <laughs> to try for another Maze Breaker. Man. Okay, well. Whatever. Let's throw that away. We don't need it anymore. Fine. I'm just going to blow this up. Just for fun. There we go. Goodbye. 
room. <laughs> there we go. And we get a lot of free maze blocks. Oh, okay. Well, um, let's warp out of here. I suppose. And we'll go to the Mino Shroom area. And let's take a look at our quest, because we completed a couple quests. We completed... Twilight Zone. Uh, the maze map. So we get two gold coins for that. And it looks like the maze breaker is the last quest in this line. So that's good. Um, and then the Mino Shroom, we get a Sojourner Staff. Consumes torches, can place them long distances, but costs extra. Okay. Um, and then we've got a Hydrophyte, Infernal Claws, absorb fire damage at the expense of hunger. And then there's uh, fiery stuff for making, I guess, one of the fire weapons. Okay, so let's head off. Um, we're going to go just to the middle. Luckily, there's two, um, which I guess I should grab this and take it with me. And I guess what I'm going to do is probably before the start of the next episode, I'm just going to climb down inside one of those uh, Mino Shroom dungeons and we can kill the Mino Shroom boss again and uh, I'll open it up so we can get to a maze breaker hopefully so um, or start opening it up and then I'll, I'll let you guys join me in case anything bad does happen because it's it does happen oh yeah I've got to eat that uh, I need to eat some Meef Stroganoff which I've got to build up just a little bit of hunger here. There we go. Okay. I always forget about that. You didn't used to have to do that. And then they set it so up. What in the world? What? <laughs> what in the world? Okay. I think it was like an invisible cobalt or something. I don't know why I'm putting all that stuff away. I don't need this. Okay. Well, there's the Hydra heal. And there's the Hydra. Let me, um... Let's go ahead and equip that. And I'm thinking that I can just... Blast them to death with Ice Shard or something. That one's going to shoot up. Well, I didn't quite shoot far enough that I could use it. But whenever you see the black smoke coming out of their mouth, that means they're about to fire those off. So you can knock them back and they do good damage. <laughs> I kind of wonder if I could if I could just absorb a hit, but I don't know if I want to chance it. Because I don't know if it just does a bunch of damage. Or it might do armor piercing damage, actually. That's what it might do. Because normally the Hydra's bite, if you get too close, it one-shots you. But I don't know for sure if I could just weather the attack or not with this armor. And I don't I don't think that I'm brave enough to try it. Oh, we finally killed a head. <laughs> and we finally killed another head. Awesome. We're kind of like splitting up the damage. And there we go. There's another head down. I don't know. I don't know if I want to chance it or not. I haven't decided. Probably not. I'm probably just going to play it safe and just ice shard it down. Or I really should have got my bow because I'd do a lot more damage that way, but this is fine. You're like dead. There we go. Hydra Slayer. Advancement. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I have slayed you. And we'll get an advancement. Alright. Quest complete. Hydra. And then we got the Hydra Chops. And I can't remember. Do we need... Hmm, no, I don't guess so. Um, okay, so we got the, the Hydra Trophy. Yay. Let's go ahead and turn that in. We got the Infernal Claws. Um, which, I don't know. We're like immune to fire damage, but I guess I'll equip it. And then there's a quest here to make the Fiery Sword. Destruction Catalyst. Consume gunpowder to destroy blocks. Okay. Phantom Armor, Urgast, Block, and Chain. Okay, I really need to drop off stuff, though. Um, let me go ahead, actually, and... 
Let's see, we did the one in the north. We killed the king in the north. Let's go over here. And I'm just going to drop off our waystone next to another one of those amino shroom dungeons. So we can easily just warp over here because I want to get the maze breaker quest. It's really not that hard. It's just we got really unlucky. It's a very common item from the from those chests, you know, at the center of the maze. And we just happen to get super, super unlucky with it and <laughs> not get it. So so what I'll do is I'll just set down a uh, waystone right here. And we'll call that Mino. Okay, and then I'm going to, actually, how close are we to, it's 47. I mean, I could get the random crits, but I'd really like to get just another point in melee damage. I don't know, that's pretty good though. Double damage, 5% chance per level, it ends up capping at a 25% chance per attack. That's pretty good, so let's take it. That's going to put us up to uh, a 40% chance, or a 20% chance that we're going to double damage. And the last tier is only 41 levels. So, it won't be long before we finish out that stuff. And then, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if we need this or not, but uh, we'll see. We shall see. So, okay, and let's see. The Fiery Sword. They want us to make that. Um, so, two Fiery Ingots and a Blaze Rod. That's fiery blood or tears with an iron ingot. I think we've actually already got... <laughs> we've already got two. Uh, that's from that randium or uh, randomonium or whatever metal um, or ore that you mine in the uh, the one dungeons. So, oh yeah, we need a blaze rod. Okay, so there is our fiery sword. And... Drum roll, please. Quest complete. Ta -da -da. Okay. There we go. We get two gold coins for that. And, you know, I've actually got a ton of these. Um, I mean, it really doesn't matter if we have them or not, because we're, like, super immune to damage. But we might as well go ahead and pop them. Um, oh, we need 5 XP. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, I've got a couple of these. I could equip like one. There we go. And I'll just I'll just set those in there. We'll store them and we'll use them later. Sometime when we have the uh, the XP. So okay, let me sort through stuff. Let me drop some stuff off. I'm gonna edit this footage while I'm doing it, and we'll see how much time we got if we have time for a night phantom run or not, because they're pretty quick, honestly. Okay, I've got this pathway opened. Um, I was editing footage and put all the stuff away, and then I just kind of came back out here, and I was like, well, I'm gonna start working towards. One of those Mino Shroom areas, and then I got the second floor and just came on down, and yeah. Um, so anyways, I've cleared this out, kind of like what we did last last time. I did open this up a little bit more because I had more time to do so. Um, but right here, we have our chests, and let's, uh, let's see what's all in these. So we've got uh, Efficiency 5, Punch 2, Infinity... Yeah, I'll take that. We're going to use a chance cube today to get it out of my inventory. Over here, we've got Efficiency 4 and Breaking 2, Maze Breaker, Fortune 2, and Efficiency 4 and Unbreaking 3. That's what we were looking for, and Efficiency 5, okay. And Challenge Complete, Breaking the Maze. <laughs> and basically what this thing does, it's a really, really good pick. It makes short work out of those, like the maze stone. So, that is what we were after. And then we've got uh, Protection 3, Efficiency 4, Silk Touch, Efficiency 5. And then we've got Protection 2, Protection 2, and Ender Chest. I'm grabbing this maze wafer because I'm almost out of food. Like, I'm almost out of food. I actually ended up skipping a lot of this dungeon, or like running past it, you know? Um... Because I was getting low on food, basically. I was looking for maze wafers. Um, let's go ahead and pop one of these chance cubes. Because it's been a while since we've done one of these. And the help me, villager. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't. That's all right. All right. <laughs> Just village murderer. Um, hey. Okay. 
go. We just leveled up, leveled up. Um, by the way, we're up to an 82% damage reduction, which I don't think any of that even matters anymore because we're just like... Um, look, we've taken 17, 32 on hits. Um, we've killed 370 things with this. We have a 10.8 attack damage at the moment on the Sword Slicer. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and take all these arrows, in fact. And right here we've got uh, one of these urns from Pyramid Plunder. Um, so I will take that. And we, um, no wait, not enough energy to awaken. Okay, whatever that is. <laughs> um, let's go ahead, the Twilight Zone, we completed this quest, we get two gold coins, yay. Um, and then we've got enough now. Let's go to the reward shop and let's get ourselves a weapon case from Mega Loot. 16 gold coins for that. There we go. And let's see what we got. So, fingers crossed, we got a, a bow. I was wanting armor, really, but uh, the Eagle Bow. Levitates enemy for one second on hit. It's epic quality. That has four upgrades. This one has three. Okay. But it does have a 10% projectile damage on whenever it's in your offhand. Interesting. <laughs> so I could, I could in theory, I could equip that and that. No, it actually, you can fire it from your offhand. So out of curiosity, could I have a sword equipped? What? That's interesting. <laughs> I never expected that, but all right. Okay, let me kill that guy off. And I can always recycle it or something. Uh, that's probably what I'll do. I don't really need another bow, but um, anyways, we're done with that. I'm not going to do any more mazes, probably. I think we're good on those. So really, the next place we need to go to is... The dark forest that's right down there. And we need to go do a... Uh, the knights. Uh, yeah, the knights. So I'm going to have to go... I'm actually going to have to go back to the... Well, i got to wait for my warp stone to run out. Um, I'll probably just go set a waystone over here near the dark forest. But I'm going to have to go back to the overworld to get one of the trophies. The boss trophies because I didn't... I put all those up, and I didn't bring one with me, so um, I will have to do that. Either that, or I'll... Uh, I can't remember if this Naga right here is the one that we already killed, or we might kill it just really, really quick. But I'm thinking that next episode, we should max out, uh, probably... We'll probably go ahead and max out the random crits chance, because, you know, we got, like, a 20% chance. I'd like to go ahead and get that to 25, uh, because that doesn't require that we jump to crit, and uh, getting double damage a fourth of your hits be pretty useful. So I feel like um, I also need to get food, but I have so much uh, so much meat from those mino shrooms, I'm probably just going to cook that up, honestly. This has a naga. Cool. I'll kill this naga real quick and then we'll have a trophy to put on the trophy stand and that'll be that. There we go. Man, he's moving so fast. There we go. Okay, so now we just have to get over to one of these guys. But um, I do know it's about wrapping up point, so we're going to pick back up next episode. And we'll quickly kill the knight. Uh, it doesn't take very long. And there is a quest for those to get, it looks like, some of the armor. Um, which I know the knights themselves, all they have is a chest piece and a head piece. That's all of the knight set. So I don't know if it if that's all it's going to want us to get, because if so, one boss is going to get all of that, chances are. But we'll see. There is there is that little quest there. And then I think there was a quest for... 
the block and chain. We have to get that, which will come from the same dungeon. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll knock out the knights, we'll knock out the Urghast, and then we'll probably knock out a Yeti and a Ice Queen, because all of those are pretty much just go kill the boss. Um, you know, the Minos room, we actually have to work down through the dungeon because there's like bedrock and we can't get through there. And um, This is the Dark Forest, by the way. So we are popping into here. And there should be a little... <laughs> What's this? Why is there stone? That means we've got to be like st pretty much standing right on top of this. Which according to the map we are. There's stone up there. Right here is where we're looking for. Awesome. Oh, and then we got... This, this guy right here, this is basically two goblins that are stacked on top of each other and make like a really tall knight. <laughs> there we go. Uh, a snare spell, no thanks. But if we set this right here, pal, there we go. Trophy champion. And then we can break this and take it with us. So anyways, right down there is where we ha need to head to next. So we'll, we'll pick that up next episode, and then we'll go take out the Urghast and then the Ice Queen stuff and see where we're at. Um, we'll probably finish. That's pretty much all the bosses for the Twilight Forest, but we'll see uh, what else is left to do at that point. So, uh, But anyways, I know it's about wrapping up points, so I'm going to end it out here. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, I'll see you guys then.